Hi, uh, Waypoint family. Welcome to this week's edition of Marks of Maturity. I wanted to talk today about mountains, um, mountaintops, and, and valleys. Uh, and the encouragement is to value the valley. Let me explain a little bit more what I mean. Uh, mountaintop experiences in our spiritual journey are so valuable to us. They're so important in many ways uh, for our growth and our connection with Christ. And and God has used those moments in my life to encourage me, to challenge me uh, at different times, to change uh, the course of, of my life uh, in certain ways. And uh, and so they're just they're incredible gifts uh, from God. Uh, they happen sometimes uh, at camps, uh, certainly at retreats, uh, for me on, on mission trips, these times when uh, when I was plucked out of my normal everyday routine, my normal everyday location, and, and brought somewhere else, and the result of that being that I uh, didn't have those distractions, that I just met with the Lord in, in, a, in an incredible way, and, and those are so good for us. Uh, one of those moments for me actually happened in the context of uh, the beginning of my seminary journey. This is about five years ago. Uh, I had a couple of classes that were challenging uh, us, all of us, to, to think about our personal sense of mission. And, um, and the other one was just to do with like leadership style. And for me, those were very clarifying, but they were also uh, things that enriched me and resonated where I saw myself and the way that God's built me and wired me and called me to lead. And I was uh, able to uh, bring that all together and go, oh, this this is what God has for me. And, and that was an amazing uh, moment uh, along the way. And, and so that that was kind of this mountaintop experience um, where, where God was meeting with me in a way that I needed to meet with him. Uh, and just uh, what, a, what a cool uh, moment that that was for, for me. Uh, but the growth didn't all happen there. That was just the moment of realization or the moment of decision, uh, God stepping into my life and going, this is what I have for you. Uh, growth happens in the doing. Growth happens in living it out on the daily. Growth happens in doing that next faithful thing and being obedient to the Lord. In Matthew chapter 11, starting at verse 27, Jesus says, All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the, so the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now those verses are verses of comfort. They're verses of hope. They're verses of Jesus' promise of his presence in our lives. But they're also verses about work. Jesus gives us that pastoral picture. I don't mean preacher picture. I mean like out in the pasture, pastoral picture of, of work being done. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Um, for my yoke is easy. My burden is light. This is um, comfort in our work. This is Jesus' presence in, in the valley. They're out there and they're plowing the fields, not out on the mountaintops being exhilarated by God, uh, but rather again, in that step-by-step step, pulling forward, doing the work that God has called us to do. And in that work, in that goodness, uh, we can find Jesus there. He comes alongside and he encourages us and challenges us. So I hope that uh, challenges you this week. Uh, value the valley. That's where God's going to do some great work in your life.